Kevin Amanda, Jared Wilbur has been delivering the morning announcements all year at Noble High School. When school let out on March 13th, Mr. Wilbur decided students might still want to hear his voice. Hey there, Noble. Every day. It is I, it is Mr. Wilbur. Jared Wilbur hey takes there, the center stage hey there, in a corner hey of his home. We start referring to it as like seasons and episodes. Week four, episode one. To record the morning announcements. Is this season six or season seven? I don't know. Season six or seven, episode one of your Noble High School morning announcements. I somehow ended up delivering the Noble High School morning announcements because I have like a really high threshold for embarrassment. Ah. Well, that Chimera. A chimera is a fire-breathing female monster with a lion's head. And these are not your typical morning announcements. This whole thing is kind of a uh, social experiment. And what day is it? What are we even doing? It's like, hey, everybody, watch this man slowly lose his mind in real time. Looking on the bright side. After the first few videos. When I started getting the trickle in of emails from students being like, I really appreciate that you're doing this. It kind of means a lot. Like, I don't feel connected to the school at all, but this is giving me like a sense of normalcy. Like, I was getting like some legitimately like heartfelt emails from students. Many of the emails came from and continue to come from students Mr. Wilbur has never met. Noble High School has more than a thousand kids. So I kind of decided, I was like, this is going to be my job now. The response to his silly videos has blown Jared away. That first video had like 900 and something views. I have a sinking suspicion that it's like 12 students. I would do it for like four kids. Anybody over that is like a bonus. And he's not doing them alone. Word of the day, courtesy of Mr. Parr. Today's word is grunge. Bibliophile. Zany this day in history. Brought to you by Mrs. Perkins, our pet of the day. His name is Bentley. I'm pretty comfortable talking to myself. I'm rather long-winded. The talented Mr. Wilbur goes on some serious rants. I have strong opinions about this. Of course, Star Trek The Next Generation is the best Star Trek on TV. In film, that's an entirely different conversation. The absolute best and the absolute worst once you've finished The Shining, you should then move on to the sequel, Doctor Sleep. Is it as good? No. But is it good? Yes. The morning announcements and all the fun things my teachers are doing for us. It's definitely cheering us all up. Some students really appreciate the videos. He's wicked funny. He's got a wicked sense of humor. I like how energetic he is, and he's always, like, happy. He's really nice. He's not just, like, your teacher. He's, like, your friend, too which is pretty cool. I love how Mr. Wilbur is doing this for us because he knows how happy it makes us and it's good knowing that it makes him happy too. It's definitely so positive in times like this. No matter what they have to say, Mr. Wilbur loves hearing from students. Feedback Fridays. I regret opening this email. In other words, have a nice day, Mr. Wilbur, Miss Bell Wilbur. You know, you don't want to go through life with too many regrets. None of the jokes were funny. Also, I missed the cat. Which cat are you talking about? I got two. We got Peter and maybe she angry. Angry. It's almost like a, a, a drive time talk show at this point. Why? I just don't think I have the time or frankly the ability to answer such a deep existential question. I appreciate your constructive criticism and feedback. My whole purpose in doing it was just kind of like, I don't know, to make him laugh. And while laughter may be his target, Jared knows many students have a lot on their plates right now. Every kid has a drastically different situation at home, some incredibly positive, some really not. The most important thing right now is the kids like mental health and their safety and making sure everybody's in a good place. He hopes his videos are helping keep them on track. This project, which started out as just something silly and fun to do, um, really morphed into something that was honestly really fulfilling. As someone that works with kids every day in education, and now can no longer see those kids, this has become one of the main ways that I'm able to connect with them and interact with them. Do something that makes you feel good, makes you feel fulfilled. It's been really great. And as always, stay noble nights. Great stuff.
And those videos are definitely a labor of love. I'll just put my phone on this stand, the one it's on right now, and just rant for like a half hour. And then um, when, that's, when all that's said and done, I just sit on my couch for like another three hours, slowly editing down that half hour nonsensical rant into something usable and has some sense of any structure. So now you see how the sausage is made. You can watch all of the morning, all of the noble morning announcements on YouTube for links. Go to the 207 section of our website or mobile app. And Amanda, even though Mr. Wilbur is wrong about Star Trek, the original series is clearly the gold standard. He's terrific. He reminds me of Jack Black in School of Rock. These are the times it's really disappointing to not be in the same studio as you because I was, in my mind, when I heard him say that, I was like, what's Rob's reaction right now? <laughs> Our audio person, Gordon, when he saw my reaction, he said, easy, Rob, easy. Yeah. <laughs> relax, relax. We'll take a quick break so you can catch your breath there.